pull it out and see what it looks like. Oh, there it is, there it is, whoa, 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 the camera didn't, look, you can see it. What you just saw was video of solid xenon, it was the white powder in the little vial. That video was from the final attempt made to actually solidify it and get good shots of it. There were several other attempts before that, and in all of them the xenon did solidify, but the filming of the sample didn't work out quite. Though finally, a successful run where that shot of it was obtained and a little bit more was successfully achieved, the sample originally started out as a vial of supercritical xenon under 942 psi pressure, a fused quartz glass ampule specifically, embedded in acrylic. Now my idea was to just stick this acrylic container in liquid nitrogen and let it freeze so you could see the solid xenon. But sadly, while it did freeze, the differential contraction associated with dunking the acrylic in liquid nitrogen cracked up the acrylic. So while the xenon did solidify, and I managed to get a few shots that show it a little bit, the broken up acrylic and the condensation really blocked it off. Okay, so the xenon sample is the supercritical xenon sample is on the end there, and we're going to stick it down into the liquid nitrogen. At the bottom of that dew where the fog obscures it, but it's down there. And then we'll hopefully get to see it solidify. A little boiling. I just heard. If you pull it out, is the acrylic broken? Whoa. Yeah, the acrylic broke up. Okay, well, I guess we may as well. Yeah. I guess we may as well. Do you think we should keep cooling it? It won't be hard to clean the acrylic out. Now I'm not scared of xenon gas because it's so it's your call. Okay, your let's keep cooling it. This is a bit uncomfortable. What? Well, I mean, your it's, sample broke. Or? Yeah. This, but if I got to see solid xenon, it'd be worth it. Well, I guess we know that about uh, about acrylic now. Yeah. I wasn't nervous about the chlorine for nothing. Well, the chlorine's not in acrylic. Yeah. Things can break and yeah. can pull it fast. Yeah, and my hope is the acrylic slows down the like, cooling of the xenon, even though it's cracked. Yeah. Well, it's still mostly there. So. Yeah. And then the, the vial uh, with, the, with the plastic, or the plastic bag, I'm hoping that'll slow down the cooling. Um, cool. So it's in there. Ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. I've got it on camera. It doesn't seem to have broken much more, although it may as it warms up. Uh, and if we set it, uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't know if there's a way to cut the tape so I can see it. No, my gloves. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, the acrylic's definitely cracking further. I'll try and get gloves on with one hand. Film with the other. Sort of hard to cut this. Well, that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Scissors. Yeah, scissors would probably be helpful. Not totally focused on filming, so probably take some editing and dealing with less than ideal shots. Okay. Let's see if we can see the xenon. Maybe that it's too fractured. So fractured, and it's fracturing more. I can't really see the ampule in there. Oh wait, there, there, you can see the solid xenon in there. Yeah, it's hard to see. can see the tube in there and then at the very bottom there's solid xenon. 
It's hard to see. That's unfortunate. Want to get a better shot of it than that. It's hard to tell it from the frost and the brakes. I can just uh, brush off the frost there and hopefully get a better picture. Okay, yeah, I see the solid xenon. I think it's, there's bits of it in both ends of the vial. Yeah, there is. Okay. Mm. Ah, I'm not filming that well. Okay, so there's definitely solid xenon in there. Oh, yep, there, there you can see. See right there. I hope you can see on the, yeah, that, that's visible. So you see that white cylinder? That white cylinder is solid xenon. I'm still gonna try and get a better shot of it. Okay, it looks like I'm not gonna get a better shot of the solid because it already melted. During the time when I was trying to make the solid more visible, it warmed up too much and it melted, so. You can see the liquid flowing around in there and you can even see the liquid boiling and it'll eventually turn back into a supercritical fluid. But sadly, I only got that one really kind of not great shot of the solid because the acrylic was such a problem. So I'm gonna try and remove the acrylic and see if it can be refrozen to yield a good shot of the solid. Yeah, but anyway, that's what boiling liquid xenon looks like. You can see it in there. Just like boiling liquid helium or liquid nitrogen. So as you saw, you could barely see the solid in the acrylic. There were a few shots where it was actually reasonably clear. Now, I was focusing mostly on the sample, not on filming, so I didn't really realize that there were some reasonably clear shots there. It was that cylindrical small vial in the middle that had that white powder in it. I was surprised at how clear you could see it, at least briefly. Now, the next thing that I did was I took off the acrylic, and you'll see me talking about that. And then I attempted to set it up so that I could film solid xenon with the acrylic not involved at all, just with the little quartz glass vial being cooled. Okay, so I have succeeded in getting the xenon ampule out of the acrylic. There's some of the broken acrylic that was left over. So I can try refreezing this using a different container, one that will allow us to actually see the solid xenon much better. So let's see how this goes. I actually prefer the sample outside of the acrylic. I thought the acrylic kind of cheapened it a little bit. So. You know, you have to be more careful with it when it's out, but uh, it doesn't. I don't count this as sample damage since I managed to get it out and it looks like a nice ampule outside of the acrylic. So, I mean, it's, it's all right if I get to solidify this and see it really well outside of the acrylic, then I'll declare this a complete win since I don't really value it being embedded in acrylic. So we've got a new setup here to try and avoid problems with condensation so we can definitely see the solid white powder xenon. Inside the bag is that xenon vial that I pulled out of the acrylic. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see the white powder in there. And then it's put into this metal container. The nitrogen will come up to somewhere around there or something and then cool it slowly. And then once we're sure it's cold, we can basically just pull that out and hopefully see the xenon before any moisture condenses on it. We'll have to see how lucky we get. Okay, so here we go. Putting it in the nitrogen. Okay, so I'm basically just going to film everything here so that if there's any glimpse of it, I capture that glimpse. So here we go, super cold rod out of the liquid nitrogen. I'm going to Uh, that's kind of annoying. Is there any way you could hold it so that it's upright? There we go. There we go. There's the solid xenon. You can see the white powder. Didn't bring the vial out with it, and then it melted. Well, it hasn't melted yet.
that you can see the white powder. Oh, there's a probably better shot of it. It's clouding up though, it's easier to see in person. I think I got a decent shot when I first pulled it out. Yeah, I didn't. The view was better in person. I didn't realize until afterwards just how much the bag obscured the view and also the condensation. I figured I'd try it again inside the bag, but this time making sure to pull the vial out with it to hopefully block off the condensation from getting to where it couldn't easily be wiped off. And that's the next attempt you're gonna see. Other than that, this next attempt was exactly the same. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what that was about. There was like a hissing sound, some like a uh, bit of a droplet of water hitting a skillet. Maybe a droplet of nitrogen hitting something warm. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe I lifted up some nitrogen and it hit the side of the doer that hadn't been exposed in a long time. So, uh, if you could again hold that. Are we going to see the solid xenon? Okay, go, come on, come on, work. Can you see it? Can you see solid in there? Yeah, I can. I think so. yeah. Okay, would you mind wiping that off with your, not, not your direct finger, it's a bit too warm. May crack the glass. Okay. Yeah, that's really hard to see. Oh, there's a sort of shot. A white powder in there. Would you mind doing that one more time? Okay, it's I liquid. liquid. Yeah, it's liquid now. Shoot! This latest attempt also clearly didn't work. At this point, it was quite clear that it wasn't just the condensation that was the problem, it was also just the plastic bag that really was obscuring it. Removing the condensation problem even briefly at the beginning really didn't adequately solve the problem. I knew before that the plastic bag was making it harder, but I figured that the condensation was enough of a contributor that just removing that might still give us a good shot of the solid xenon and you could kind of see it even on camera. Again, the view is better in person, but ultimately you still couldn't. Now, the new problem that arose here was that condensation started to form, ice started to form on the inside of the vial, which was not accessible. So I knew that I was gonna have a limited time to film it if I ever did get it to work. And I came up with one more setup, and this was the final try and the one that did work. And that's what you're gonna see next. So I have changed the setup. The xenon's no longer in the bag, but the bag's still there to block moisture from coming in when I ultimately pull it out. The xenon vial is much, much more visible, although it's not, my phone isn't interested in focusing. The xenon vial is much more visible, as you can see, so I, have a sta I stand a better chance of getting a good shot of it, even on camera. The other times with the xenon in the bag, I could see it with the naked eye, but it didn't come up on film very well. So hopefully with this, we'll finally get a good shot. Okay, here's that new setup cooled down. Let's pull it out. It creaks, I don't know why. The glass didn't break in the other tests, so I suspect it didn't here. Okay, thanks. There we go. Let's pull it out and see what it looks like. Oh, there it is, there it is, whoa, 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 the camera didn't, look, you can see it, you can see the solid xenon, look at that, that white powder in there, that's so cool, let's try and get it closer to the camera and see if I can still get it to focus, yeah, there it is, white powder, would you mind wiping off the condensed ice, see if I can get more good shot of it? Oh yeah, that's really working. Look at that white powder. That is solid xenon, finally. Okay, could you do that again? It's building up quickly. Yep. Wow. Oh, now it's clouding again. It looks like it's condensing inside. Too. Yeah, now it's condensing inside. Oh well. Okay, so could you hold... Uh, 
I guess it's not in the bag, so I can't really show it. Maybe the paper wouldn't conduct heat to it quickly. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's melted. Oh, look, I guess I didn't have the camera focused, but we saw a little bit of melting there. That's the liquid. You can see the liquid's actually starting to boil a little bit, and it's slowly turning into a supercritical fluid again. So there we go. Really good footage of solid xenon back there, and now liquid xenon. It's, of course, forming ice now. So it's up to temperature, and now we're back to supercritical phase. So there we go. That's supercritical xenon again. So you finally saw the solid xenon. I hope you're as excited about it as I was. I tried a bunch. The acrylic broke. There were other failed attempts. It was really kind of unpleasant uh, because I was risking my sample and I wasn't sure if I'd even get anything out of it. But at the end, I did see solid xenon and get it on camera well enough for you to see that yeah, solid xenon really is just a white powder. And on top of that, there were some good shots of liquid xenon and then it boiling into the supercritical fluid. So that was kind of cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Dietrich out.